festival debut in 2010. Please welcome one of Australia's hottest exports, Steve Hughes. Yeah. 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 Hey, Sydney. I haven't got much time, so better get on with it. <laughs> Good night, thought I'd get dressed up. And, uh... I'm from Australia originally, as Stephen said, I grew up in Sydney. I live in the UK now. and uh, I, was, uh, I live in Manchester in, the, in England. How, how weird is this? I was having a, I lived in the Gate Village in Manchester. At this outdoor bar, and I was having a drink there with this English friend of mine. And he looks at me. And he goes, have you got an earring in, in, in your right ear? I go, yeah. He goes, this is a gay bar. Well, so what? He goes, well, in England, if you wear an earring in your right ear, he goes, that means you're gay. Said, well, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I told him, you know, see, in Australia, it's when you got your cock in another man's ass. <laughs> Good to be ahead of the times on a few things. <laughs> See, I grew up here and uh, been in Europe for about 10 years, telling them about, about Sydney, well, about, you know, the two most famous landmarks. Of course, any city has famous landmarks. People will recognise it by, and of course, Sydney will always be the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. So I've been telling the people of Europe about that, about the Sydney Harbour Bridge, you know, and how we named it. a long day. <laughs> We've got a bridge in Sydney, goes over the harbour. I mean, probably took a little longer to name than the Great Sandy Desert, but, you know. <laughs> I'm sure the Snowy Mountains took fucking ages. <laughs> okay. We don't really seem to care when we name things, do we? I mean... I mean, you've got all the states in Australia. You get the three the English named, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. <laughs> they said, we can name the rest. <laughs> South Australia, Western Australia, the Northern Territory, then I? <laughs> and of course, the Opera House. You know, tell them about that. And, you know, boy, that comes in handy, doesn't it? <laughs> nothing Australians like more, is it? Good fucking opera. <laughs> yeah, fuck the cricket, get me down to that opera. <laughs> Just watch this fat bastard sing. <laughs> I would have gone to the opera growing up personally, you know. I'll admit to you, I was never very good at being Australian, to tell you the truth, you know. I never really suited the culture when I grew up, you know, it was all based around sport and racism and. Uh, I wasn't very good at either of them, you know. I, just, I didn't know what to kick, you know. It's fucked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good joke. And, uh, <laughs> sport, well, you know, that's why I moved the pathological promotion of sport within the collective consciousness of the culture. I just simply find offensive, to tell you the truth. It's, uh, you can't turn a TV on in this country without seeing some thick-necked, bone-headed wombat talking about what he did with a ball. I'm like, shut up, mate. I'm not fucking interested. <laughs> well, you might, well, well, fuck you, I moved, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm at school, I didn't want to play it. New South Wales, you're going to play rugby league, mate? You want to play rugby league? I'm like, no, I don't want to play rugby league. Well, why not? Because it fucking hurts, you moron. <laughs> Mankind, about 10 million years to walk on two legs, and I don't need some Neanderthal prick pushing me back down on the ground every five minutes. <laughs> that one. And running around in the heat, we got a point! Oh, fuck, brilliant. <laughs> you don't eat your orange, leave me alone. <laughs> uh -oh. I used to say, just get in there hard, son. Get in there hard, mate, you won't get hurt. Well, you don't go in at all, you're fucking laughing. <laughs> uh, 
I did cooking at school instead of sport. Uh, I was into death metal and cooking, you know. Just... I was an angry man, but you've got to eat, don't you? <laughs> you know, late 70s, early 80s, you know, I'm cooking. School, football players, they're freaking out, you know. You cooking, Hughes? Cooking. You gay, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay, mate. I'm icing cakes with 30 chicks and you fuckwits are showering together. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're cool. This is good. I could stay here all night. Running out of time. I've been in Melbourne. I did Melbourne last year for the first time. It was weird. I, I, I can deal with Melbourne people now. I couldn't deal with them last year. I couldn't make them laugh. They were hard to make. They, they laugh like this sometimes. Sussed them out, you know. Well, they're the only city not founded on convicts. I didn't know that. That's why they're all a bit European. It's all banks and business and so forth and whatnot. See, for Sydney, it's a bit, you know, Sydney's a good audience. Laugh from your fucking guts, because, yeah, yeah. Well, well, Sydney's a bit rough around the edges, really. It's good. There's, there's a tang of violence constantly hanging in the air, you know, just <laughs> any moment throughout the day, you expect some bloke just to go off like a bunger for no reason, you know what I mean? <laughs> just walking down the street. What are you looking at, mate? <laughs> Fuck, I have no idea. <laughs> He's some type of pofter, mate. I don't know, how many types are there? I just... <laughs> think you're better than me? I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, good to be back and uh, do some comedy and play some heavy metal. Hopefully. I like heavy metal, as you probably tell. It's, uh... I'm not Jesus. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I like a lot of heavy metal. I played in heavy metal bands on this stage, actually. Burnt. And uh, I like heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, and uh, Enya, actually. Which, is, uh, <laughs> which no one really believes. They just think it's a bit of a joke. But then again, you know, most people haven't listened to Slayer for eight hours in one day. And you, you get up to that type of nonsense, you do need something to relax in the afternoon, don't you? <laughs> And I was in London one night, and I was this, I did this show in London, this big geezer stands up, he goes, I fucking hate Enya. <laughs> I hate Enya, mate. It's a bit intense. Yeah. <laughs> George Bush is alive, mate. <laughs> George Bush, Dick Cheney, Condoleezza Rice, Donald Rumsfeld, Henry Kissinger. See, <laughs> these are genocidal war criminals. And uh, this is Enya. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to hate, hate positively. Right. <laughs> you hate Enya. It's, it's just silence coloured in. It's all just... <laughs> you hate Enya. It's like being angry at a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Pissed off at looking at a flower open. Look at that. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna end ya. Oh, bitch! What are you up to? <laughs> well, 14 seconds to go. 12. <laughs> 10. It's like New Year's Eve. <laughs> Four, three, two. Fuck, I hope this whole building takes off. That'd be a little. They, st <laughs> they stopped the clock on me. Fuck it, I can stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, have a good night. <laughs>